Okay, here we have the first stages of making um, your very own MagGrav power unit. Um, Keshi has given this free to the world, and we can do it ourselves at home quite simply and uh, stop polluting the, <laughs> the world for the, the new generation and make sense of this. So simply, first, we get some bits of wood and create a box. If you don't have any timber or wood, you can just use a plastic box and drill some holes through it. What I've done here, I have two holes. The larger one, which is the 10 mil, which is for the outer coil. And then you also have the 6 mil rod, which is going to go through for the inner coil. So we'll just assemble this nice and simply to make construction easier. So the larger hole is 10 mil, like I said. Um, if you're in the States, that's 3 eighths of an inch. And also the 6 mil is quarter inch. And that way when the copper is wrapped around this rod, the inner copper will fit through the larger one. Simply like this. <laughs> Just waiting on our copper that's in the mail. And we can start to make an amazing home unit. Okay, here we are with the box that I've made. That's some timber I had lying around. I made a jig. This 10 mil and 4 mil rod, which is going to be while we wrap the copper wire around to make the coils. Um, the rod itself can be a little bit larger or smaller, as long as you have a small gap in between the two coils when you insert them. Um, this box I made so I can reproduce and make many, many coils. Um, yeah, it's a simple um, box that holds everything and I can, you know, create a lot of coils fast. You could also use this simple plastic box or even a drawer, an old drawer from a, you know, set of drawers. Um, something that's pretty simple to use and can recreate many, many so we can give them to as many people as possible, um, make them for the community. Make them for your friends, loved ones, send them overseas to third world countries. Uh, do what you can to help. This is free energy given to us freely by Mr. Cash. And uh, yeah, I think uh, it's important to, to recreate it and uh, give it to the masses as fast as we can. This is, uh, this is the copper wire that I got for $2. Um, there's also, we ordered some other copper online. This copper has been stripped, makes it a little bit easier. It's a nice dark copper colour, you don't want to get the copper that's too yellow. It's a weaker copper, it's not as good. Um, but yeah, I, I recommend trying to you know, do it as, as freely as possible, reuse, recycle. For two dollars I bought this whole roll, which means I need to strip it, it takes a little bit more energy and time, but you know, it's a, it's a big savings. If you don't have any or used copper around, you could uh, purchase this like we did originally. It's um, online if you can't get it at your local hardware store. It's 14 gauge wire, um, which is about 
one sixteenth thick um, or 1.58 mils. Um, so yeah, what we're going to do now is we're going to coil it around the larger rod. And to do that, we need to always have about nine inches extra wire. The reason I say that is that you, when you build your coils, you can have some extra wire to attach with. Um, essentially, this is what we're going to make three sets of, and also three sets of the smaller ones that go with inside that. So what you have is single wire that holds it together, which runs all the way through. The inner coil, which is the smaller 6 mil. So we're going to start with the larger one, like I said. Just have any kind of drill, battery drill. And I've made a cut in the end of this rod. easy to insert the wire into and also get the spring off later on. Nine inches of extra wire to begin with. You want to tighten it nice and tight, snug. And then you're going to have this extra wire here that you need to now wrap around your drill so it's not going to spin and cause any problems hitting someone. <laughs> so now we're going to have the drill on the backwards position. Screwing, you're pushing in and you're going screwing in forwards. Same with drilling, you're going forwards. This is the opposite. You're pulling the screw out, so to speak. You have the drill on reverse and then you're going to put a little bit of tension on the wire, pushing in with the drill against your frame or your jig. We're now going to create a bunch of coils here. So this is the larger outer one, which we need to get about 162 um, coils or rotations. Uh, 162 is what I've chosen. If you add them up, it equals 9, which is a very important number. Um, also, for the smaller coils, we're going to do 81. Again, adds up to 9. So, there's a few ways we can do that. We can count each one. We can put a marker on the drill and count the rotations. A little bit uh, tedious, if you ask me. I like to measure as it comes out. And I've done the calculations here. So, basically, 162 will equal... 10 inches and an eighth, or 257 millimeters. You can also put a marking once you figure that out on your rod so it's easy to match the juice. went to my mark but I'm also going to double check with the tape measure to see and it's 10 inches and an eighth or 257 mils which equals the correct amount of 162 rotations. Okay now to nano coat this it needs to have spacing in between coils. So we can do that a few different ways. We can, once we cut it off, we can pull and separate them. There's another way I like to do, which is to basically use another piece of wire to put in here and space them evenly so you'll get the same 14 gauge or you know, 1.6 mil um, spaces all the way along. 
I'm just going to cut the wire off first. And again, we need about nine inches, nine inches or 230 mil of extra wire on the ends for attachments later. Bend the wire over a little bit so it can spin. And now, I am gonna put this piece of wire, like I said, nice and firmly down in the first rotation, in between the first and the second. I'm gonna pinch it down. coil from the rod, unravel this piece we've safely put up around the drill, undo the drill. So now we can just remove this coil because I have this slit in the end of the rod which allows it to come off freely and easily. This is the larger outer one. 162 rotations. Okay, now that we've created the larger 10 mil coil, it's time to start on the smaller 6 mil. I've chosen 6 mil because it works well with the 10 mil outer coil. It's important that no matter which size rods you choose to make your coils, that the inner coil goes quite freely in and out of the larger coil and not binding up and also there's enough room in between both of these for nano coating you want to have enough room that gets complete nano coating very important on the larger rod I had the slit in here that worked well to hold the wire smaller rods a bit skinnier not much room so therefore I've created this clip that will go into the teeth of the drill to lock in the wire. So you need to wind it under the rod, around a few times. Touching drill. Then we get the pin, which is going to go over the top of the extra wire in between the teeth, locking it in against the drill. Winding the extra wire around. two rotations which means we need 10 inches and an eighth or 267 sorry 257 mil so a couple more rotations here and 
and then for the inner coil, we need to lay extra long copper that's going to go through itself and hold the coil together. So ideally 30 inches roughly or 750 mil of wire is what we'll need for extras. And I'm just rolling up the extra wire to keep it out of the way. For the next stage, which is with the spare piece of wire, we're going to put it in between the first and second coil for spacing. pops off we just need to relocate where it came off tighten it a little bit all the way to the end that way we have consistent spacings all the way along and I remove the pin Undo the wire off the drill, release the drill, and your inner will come off a smaller rod. And there we have it. Okay, so feeding the smaller 6 mil through the 10 mil grab the end, just feed it through until it comes out to the other side, so they're both flush and then you have your 30 inch, 750 mil longer wire that we feed through both of them. That will then connect into a full circle. And then Give a little twist to hold it in place. And it's ready for the next stage where we can learn how to connect them all. And this is the smaller one. It has the 81 turns. It will go inside the one that has 162. So the same. Same procedure, feed through. And then feed it again. A couple of wire into itself. Just pulling it tight. Give it a little twist.
There's 12 coils in total. These are doubled up. So there's six rings you're left with. Three of the larger ones, which is 162 rotations, and three of the smaller 81 rotations.